Hello, my name is Jade Quinkle. I am eight years old. I am a student at Global Purpose Academy, and my project is extraterrestrial life. The purpose of my project is to understand extraterrestrial life and where could they possibly exist. Um, my hypothesis: I think that extraterrestrial life could exist on either a rocky or icy planet. Extraterrestrial life is defined as life that originates outside of Earth. The six kingdoms that, that we know of that extraterrestrials may come in are animals, plants, fungi, bacteria, archaebacteria, and protozoa. Six likely places for extraterrestrial life. Europea. Europea is one of Jupiter's 63 moons. Europea's surface is mostly made of, up, up of ice. Scientists believe that there was a ocean under Europea's surface that that has so much water that it that it has twice as much as ore. Enceladus. Enceladus is a moon of Saturn. It has it has been it has one of the only moons that has liquid lakes on it. But the but it's not made out of water. It is made out of methane and ethane. Titan. Titan is Saturn's biggest moon. Titan has has ice on it. It also has clouds, which may have oxygen inside of them. Mars. Mars. Everyone just thinks Mars has life on it. Scientists believe that Mars used to actually be just like Earth. But then it froze. There was we know there was water in in the future um scientists will be sending humans to Mars to live there. The last place scientists expect to find life is the surface of Venus. But in the atmosphere they have they have found signs of traces of of bacteria and oxygen. Conclusion. My hypothesis was incorrect. Terrestrial and icy planets are not the only planets that could possibly have life. All planets have moons, with the exception of Mercury and Venus. The environment of a planet's moon determines whether life could possibly exist. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are gas planets. However, their moon shows signs that life in some form may possibly exist. Thank you.